hey welcome back to a new video today i'll be reviewing the three different rare beauty blush formulas for each one i'll be showing you how it applies on my cheeks how it feels and how well it wears throughout the day and i'm going to be doing this over three days so i can apply each one and really see how it wears for that entire day so a bit of background rare beauty is selena gomez's makeup line that launched last september the soft pinch liquid blushes come in two formulas, matte and dewy. The matte shade I have is called Bliss, and the dewy shade I have is Grateful. Then Rare Beauty came out with their Stay Vulnerable collection in January, and part of that line was their Melting Cream Blush. The one I got is the shade Nearly Neutral, so I was really interested to try this out because it looks a bit more sheer and a bit more wearable, whereas these ones, I think a lot of the feedback that they got was they're hard to work with, they're hard to blend. Let's see how they compare, starting with the matte liquid blush in Bliss. So it comes with a really nice doe foot applicator, and as you'll see with this, it's super pigmented and you really don't need a lot of product for it to cover your entire cheek. So it's a fair test. I'm gonna keep a few things consistent for all three of these applications. So I'm gonna use the same uh, skincare and sunscreen as a base. My morning skincare routine is up on my channel and then the sunscreen that I'll use for uh, all three days is the Axis Y Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. So I already have on my like foundation and concealer so the one that I'm gonna use is the Merit the Minimalist uh, Perfecting Concealer. I also have a review of this up on my channel and for concealer I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me. Let's get to applying this and you really only need a tiny bit. I'm just gonna take it on my finger and apply it on my cheeks. So it blends really nicely and I'll show you how it builds. So that's like one layer and I didn't put a lot on. So now I'm gonna take a bit more and use the brush method. Put it on the tip of the brush like that and then start building it on my cheeks. So the brush method kind of helps to not disturb the product underneath too much. Okay, so this is the final look with the blush, and right now it's about noon, so I'm gonna check back tonight just before I take off my makeup to see how well the blush lasted. Okay, see you later, bye. <laughs> At the end of the day, the blush was still on my cheeks, but faded a little bit. I also took a nap that day, so that probably made it wear off a bit faster. To recap, this is a gel cream to powder formula. I'd give it 7 out of 10 for pigment and 7 out of 10 for lasting power. It blends quickly but evenly, drying down to a powder finish, and I like to apply it with my fingers or a brush. And I would say it's best for normal to oily skin, and perfect for the summer if you tend to get a bit oilier. Okay, so today I'm going to be testing out the dewy formula of the liquid blush and the shade I have here is Grateful and it's a really really beautiful kind of bright red color. So I'm going to have to be careful with this because it is so pigmented. Honestly, I'm a little scared to use my finger so I think I want to stipple it on with the brush so that's what I'm going to do. Like a tiny bit on my brush like that. And I'm going to stipple it on, I'm nervous. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I put like a tiny, tiny bit on the brush, a bit more, and I'm gonna go in for a second layer. You can see the pigment really starting to build. You know what? I really like that. I don't know if there was a huge difference in the application, but I did have to use a lot less of this formula than uh, the matte formula. And on the cheek, it feels like the same as the rest of my face does, um, which is like a little bit dewy, not sticky, but just like I have a little bit of product there. Okay, now I'm like feeling a little more confident and I'm just gonna kind of cover the brush with that product. Like I picked up most of the product there and just go in. And 
instantly regret it. That's really intense. Then I'm gonna do my best to blend it out and then I might have to go upstairs and grab um, another brush, like the brush that I used for my foundation and just <laughs> blend everything out. I'm gonna try to even it out, put more on this side. Okay, so I'm just upstairs. I grabbed the brush that I did my foundation and concealer and just blended out the edges here. I had to add in a bit more concealer on this side to kind of blend it out. Um, and even still, it's very bright. A tiny dot will cover your entire cheek and you definitely want to start off slow. I have a feeling this will last pretty well throughout the day because it's so pigmented, but I'll check in at the end of the day. By nighttime, it looked pretty much the same on my cheeks and still had a little glow. To recap, this is a gel cream formula. For pigment, I would give it 9 out of 10, and for staying power, I would also give it 9 out of 10. It blends and spreads really evenly, drying down to a natural dewy finish. I like to apply it with a brush or a damp sponge, and I'd say it's best for normal to dry skin. Okay, we're back with another blush application, and I'm gonna apply the third blush. This is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush, and I have the shade here, Nearly Neutral. So I love that it has a mirror because I actually forgot to bring one down. I'm using a brush like this to apply. So as you rub your fingers on it, it kind of feels like you're rubbing your hand on like a tub of margarine or like room temperature butter. Get a bit on my brush like that. I put on quite a bit because I feel like this will be a bit sheer. Oh. Oh wow, it's like surprisingly pigmented. a bit too much just on that lower part of my cheek there. Blush applied, no blush applied. I like the color and I have some breakouts on this side so I'm always a bit more careful when it comes to blush. So yeah, that was the blush applied with just a few taps of the brush. Um, this one I run really heavy handed because I thought it would be really sheer. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so there you go. When I rub my finger through, it feels really silky. It's matte to the touch, um, like it kind of dries down. The finish is most similar to the matte blush, but it's less pigmented and therefore easy to work with. But I've heard from some people that this one actually doesn't last as well on the skin throughout the day. So we'll see, we'll put it to the test. Right now it's about 1 p.m. So I'm gonna check back around eight or nine when I take off my makeup to see how well it lasts. This one did not last as long as the others. It was slightly visible at the end of the day, but pretty much looked like I didn't have blush on. The first time I applied this one, I used a brush on top of skin that felt a bit dry. The blush felt drying and too matte on my skin. So the next day I tried again with a damp sponge to see if that would help. It went on a lot smoother, but when I tried to blend it out with the clean side of the sponge, the product wiped away in patches. It lasted a little better because I put on more product that time, so I'll upgrade it to a 5 out of 10 for staying power. To recap, this one is a lightweight balm formula. For pigment, I would give it 3 out of 10, and for staying power, I would also give it 3 out of 10. It blends with some work, but not always evenly, and it dries down to a powder finish. I like to apply it with a sponge, and would say it's best for normal to oily skin, or for younger girls just starting out with makeup. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching me try on these blushes. If you were interested in the Rare Beauty blushes, I hope this was helpful in just showing you the subtle differences between the three. Ranking them from favorite to least favorite, I would say the Dewy Blush was my favorite, and then the Matte Blush, and then the Melting Cream Blush. But of course, makeup is really personal preference. I just tend to like dewier blushes that are really easy to blend and are decently pigmented so I don't have to keep going over my cheeks again and again with more product. But yeah, if you've tried any of these blushes, let me know which one you loved and which shade I should try next. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Bye.